Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Sean aka Sean J Gaming back with another YouTube video. Today what I have for you guys is a best settings, best controller settings for regular controllers, scuff controllers, all that in Black Ops 4. Um, I believe the last settings video I did was around 5k so I know I've gotten a lot more subs and a lot of you guys ask me what my sense is when you guys see my aim and stuff. Uh, personally, I think I can tell I can always tell you my settings but you can't expect my settings to always work out the best for you. Everybody kind of has to find their own feel. I don't mind making these videos because some people, you know, can play on the same thing as me or anybody that makes these type of videos and they, they'll do better with them when they change their settings up. But uh, I, I'll let you guys know some of the settings, some of the settings that I think are like secret settings, I guess, that some people don't know to change. And um, yeah, that'll be pretty much it. Just going over controller settings. All right, controls. All right, so my look inversion, I play on standard. My sensitivity, which is the main thing people ask about, I play on 7-7, seven, 7 seven horizontal, 7 vertical, and my ADS sensitivity. A lot of people don't know that you can change your ADS sensitivity now in this game, but I play on a .75 ADS speed. I feel like that's the high, that's the best ADS speed to play on in this game. It, I'm able to control my aim a lot with it. Uh, my high zoom sensitivity is also a .75 another sensitivity people did not know was in this game it was added in a previous update target aim assist on aim assist on some people play with aim assist off um but obviously if it's there why not play with it on controller vibration i play with it off i feel like it makes my uh, shot a little bit more shakier i do know some people like vibration but i personally don't so i play with it off sprint council reload is off auto mantle is off uh, this originally wasn't a setting you could change, but I'm glad they changed it. Sometimes I still feel like you auto mental in this game, but I mean, it gives you option to turn it off. So why not turn it off? Because that's the worst thing you can do is auto mental something you weren't trying to mantle. Um, auto sprint is off. I don't automatically want to sprint all the time. Uh, my stick layout is default. Now, a lot of people are confused with why I play on a default stick layout and a default button layout. But I do that because I play with the scuff. So for scuff controllers, um, I'd suggest playing on default just because uh, you can make your paddles on the back jump and slide and reload. And there's really no reason for you to change your front buttons if you can do all of that with your paddles. I personally, I, uh, I have two paddles that are jump, one's reload and one's crouch or slide. And then I, I, I still melee with my stick and I run with my other stick and I do not play with l1 and r1 flipped i play default i know some people with uh regular controllers play flipped because they feel like they shoot faster um with the l1 and r1 but um i have trigger stops on my scuff so i don't have to now for people with regular controllers this is for the regular controller people um if i was using a regular controller like i i rarely ever use a regular controller anymore but if i was i would um i would still play default on my stick layout and I would play, I would probably play stick and move for my button layout. Um, jump shotting is a really big thing in this game. And I feel like it would be easier for me to be able to jump with the stick. And um, it would go better with the type of movement I play in this game. Not having to take my hand off the stick to jump. I per That's what I personally would play. And uh, as far as my brightness goes, my brightness is at 50. That's based on your personal monitor. That's the thing. A lot of these settings are based on your equipment and your play style so i can always tell you mine but you know just you can't always expect it to work out for you but i'll give you my stuff and if it works out for you then that's what's up i personally think these are the best settings for me personally um color i play colorblind off i know a lot of people do play with colorblind just to change the color they're not actually colorblind i mean i guess it's cool to change the feed or whatever but i just play regular um i tap the full name on i don't know if that matters to some people um and i don't ever play split screen so that doesn't even matter and moving on to audio my master volume is at 10 my voice volume is at 10 and my music volume is, is at one i actually do not like to play with music because i feel like music it distracts me i like to sound whore and be really focused and i don't i basically don't want any distractions so i don't like to hear the music like you know how like towards the end of the game it'll speed up and give you anxiety like i just I don't want to really hear it. I don't really even hear it on one. I don't even know why I have it on one because I can't hear it, hear it at all. Um, team chat volume is at 10. Sound effects volume is at 10. Cinematics volume is also at 10. I have multiplayer dialogue on so you can hear call outs from the players. 
and my controller sound is on a lot of people i play with don't like that i have my controller sound on but i don't usually notice it because my headset's on but yeah my controller sound is on and that's pretty much it for settings like i said these are the main settings that people look for but i just went through all of them because some people do like to know every setting you have thinking that you know that'll help them out i mean who knows i honestly i truly believe it's personal preference so i suggest you know you go play against some veteran bots play around with your sensitivity i don't know what you got to do to figure out your perfect sensitivity but i believe these are the best settings to use in black ops 4 77.75 ads um i've never been a like a uh, high sense fiend i know there's people that you know will watch this video and be like hey i play on max and i'm like that's good for you guys but personally i play good and i aim good with 77.75 ads i'll insert some clips of my aim because people tell me that i have pretty good aim with the sensitivity i play on Squad wipe! And yes, uh, I believe in my last video, people asked I use control freaks. I actually do use control freaks. You guys, make sure you guys use code Shanja if you do pick up a pair of control freaks because I am a control freak affiliate partner or whatever. So make sure you guys use code Shanja if you do want to pick up a pair of control freaks. I'm, the link will be in the description below. I do believe control freaks help you aim better when I play without my control freaks my aim is not as good with it on uh the control like i play with one low one high currently you'd have to see what you like some people like both high some people like both low but i play with a low control freak on the left and a high one on the right but yeah i think that's all i have for you guys today so make sure you guys do drop a like and comment on this video subscribe to the channel for more dope content and i will catch you guys in the next video sean j gaming out Oh, oh my white. god. Squad white, baby. Oh. I do this.